Good afternoon, Wildcats. I'm Helen Reardon. And I'm Emma Turton, and you're watching WCAT Weekly News. We'd like to start off this edition by saying Happy Hanukkah to all of our Wildcats celebrating. With only seven more school days to go, the countdown is on for winter break. Tomorrow we will gather together in McCain to enjoy the Christmas concert put on by the performing arts students. So Helen, I hear you've got a big crush on someone here in the studio. That's right Emma, I just don't know how to get their attention. Well, the Social Change Leadership Council is here to help you out. The QR code in the Wildcat updates will send you right to a Google survey where you can send your crush a candy cane. Submit your candy cane orders by tomorrow, December 3rd, and the candy canes will be passed out during advisement next Thursday. That's awesome. I will definitely be sending my crush a candy cane. Me too. And all the proceeds will go to the International Rescue Committee in order to aid the Afghan refugee crisis. Are you an artist or a writer looking for a place to have your work published? Submit to Embryo, Westminster's award-winning art and literary magazine. The fall deadline for submissions is December 6th. Be sure to check out the Wildcat updates for the submission link. Tomorrow, the alternative gift fair is back in person and moving from Malone to Barge. Millie Normark and Anissa Patel have some inside look on some booths we can expect to see. Hi, I'm Anissa. And I'm Millie. And this Friday, the Alternative Gift Fair returns in person. It's a great time to do some shopping for friends and family. Let's check in with some of the vendors to see what's in store. Girls is doing a fundraiser for New American Pathways at the Alternative Gift Fair. We're selling raffle tickets. One is $3 and two is $5. There's three awesome prizes, so make sure to stop by their table. We're part of the Guatemala Jan Term, and we're selling coffee at the Alternative Gift Fair. We're using that money to support families in Guatemala. Come see our booth. Hello, the equestrian team is donating to the Outdoor Minority Allowance, um, which is an organization run by Darrell Smith in the uh, middle school. And we are making some baked goods and bringing some old horseback riding equipment to sell. For the alternative gift fair, Circle of Women is selling different pieces of art and jewelry made by Westminster students and ornaments. Hi everyone! Play Unified's partner organizations, Gigi's Playhouse and Java Joy, will both be having booths at the Alternative Gift Fair this Friday. I'm really excited for the Alternative Gift Fair. This year, I'm making little Westminster ornaments to support Agape. Um, for the Alternative Gift Fair, I'm going to be making hot chocolate reindeer for Odyssey, so please come and support. I'll definitely be stopping by for some gifts this holiday season. Me too. Now, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Millie and Anissa, and make sure to stop by tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 7 to support many fundraisers and see many homemade products. I'll be there with the girls group selling raffle tickets, and sports anchor Ryan Carr will be at the Guat Cats booth selling coffee for the Guatemala Jan Term Global Ed Program. Speaking of fundraisers, the Honors Spanish 6 Translation class has put together a fundraiser to help cure childhood cancer. Here's junior Luke Guan with more. Thanks, I'm Luke Wan with the Spanish Honor 6 Translation class, and we'll be running a drive to collect Campbell's soup and Kraft Velveeta mac and cheese, pretzels or salty snacks, applesauce pouches or fruit cups, and cookies, such as Chips Ahoy or Oreo cookies. Um, we'll have the details in the Wildcat updates, so check for which each grade needs to bring in. We're doing this food drive for a Cure Childhood Cancer, an organization that supports families with children who have cancer. So make sure to support us, and also we'll be at the Alternative Gift Fair to sell decorated candles. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. Be sure to drop your donations in the bin and stop by their booth at the Alternative Gift Fair. Last year, the eSports Smash team took home a state championship. And this year, the Smash team, along with FIFA and Rocket League teams, are both in the playoffs hoping to secure more titles. Catherine and Ives have more on Wildcat eSports. Hey y'all, it's Ives and Catherine, and today some of our eSports teams are having their semifinals. Let's hear from some of the players on the teams for FIFA, Rocket League, and Super Smash Bros. Uh, I'm Cody. And I'm Fletcher. And uh, we're playing Smash Bros for Westminster in the 2021 fall season. Both of our teams are playing in the round of 32, and we're excited to be making the finals hopefully again this season. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm playing on the Smash team. I'm really just looking to improve and have some fun. I'm Michael. I'm part of the Rocket League team and the Elgato team. And today we're going to play a tough match against really high-ranked players. Uh, hi, I'm Elliot Spinrad. I'm part of the Rocket League Esports Club. 
Today we're playing our round of 32 match state Rocket League team. We're doing the playoffs right now. We had two teams go into the playoffs. The other team lost their first round, but we won it and we're going to play our second round today. So hope that goes well. Sounds like so much fun. Good luck tonight, eSports Cats. Thanks, Catherine and Ives. We can't wait to see how these teams compete throughout the playoffs. Now let's head to Ryan Carr with more on Wildcat Sports. Thanks, Helen and Emma. Westminster Boys basketball looks to stay undefeated this Friday as they welcome Atlanta International School to Turner Gym. Varsity girls grew as a team on their trip to Florida over break and they are ready to take on single-A powerhouse Wesleyan. Be sure to head down to Turner Gym at 6 o'clock for the girls and 7.30 for the guys, or tune into WCAT to cheer them on. Wildcat Wrestling took on Blessed Trinity and Dunwoody last night. The team has a quick turnaround as they will host the Westminster Duels this Saturday. Good luck, Matt Cats. Catch all the action on WCAT. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ryan. Finally, we end this week's news with Jada's quick Q&A segment with Coach Lucas. Hi, I'm Jada, back with another quick Q&A in the weight room with Coach Lucas. Coach Lucas, why do you think strength training is so important? Well, I think especially for our kids that the, um, they're reducing the risk of injuries, you know, getting stronger, more explosive, quicker is all going to help the performance of the sports, but injury prevention is a big thing. And why do you think it's so important for girls to specifically strength train? Well, I think with girls' sports, the, the ACL injuries are pretty high in a lot of the sports, soccer, basketball, among others. And uh, we do a lot of different exercises to help prevent those things. So again, getting the body stronger, I think, helps them get a little bit more physical with their play in basketball, soccer, and, and lacrosse and things like that. So with total body strengthening, I think it's important for everybody. And who is the strongest Westminster alum you've worked with? Um, I have to say, uh, across the board, Educa Adele, when he squatted 600 last year, was a pretty big weight. Um, he had a good bench as well. So he was over 1,000 pounds just on, on two lifts, close to 1,000 pounds, sorry. But uh, Coach Joel, who's here, he's still on the record board for the bench press at 405. So we've had a few, you know, quite a few strong guys come through here. Do you prefer the bench press or lap pull down? <laughs> the, uh, I'm going to say the bench press. Um, that's going to kill me on that one. But because it's a multi-joint movement, it, it works the triceps, the shoulders, and the chest. Whereas, like, say, the pull-down really only works kind of the back and the biceps. So it's kind of more bang for the buck when you start talking about the bench press. And what's your favorite machine here in the weight room? Favorite machine? Or exercise. <laughs> the, the favorite exercise would be the power clean, just because it develops, develops that explosion and that... Um, that power that we need for most of our sports that we play here. And finally, do you prefer morning or afternoon lifts? Uh, I think morning's the best. Uh, we have a lot of students that come in the morning. We got like probably about 160 signed up in the zero period before school. And so that class is really the biggest group we have at this point. So it kind of gets the body going, wakes you up. Then you got the workout done. You got the whole rest of the day. And it doesn't interfere, uh, interfere with practice in the afternoon. Nice. Well, thank you, Coach Lucas. Back All to right. you guys in the studio. Thanks, Jada, and thanks, Coach Lucas. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Emma Turton. And I'm Helen Reardon. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week on WCIT Weekly News.